the question is asking if Rawls' theorem can be applied. Um, so solution. So it's a yes or no question, but um, let's just briefly talk about Rawls' theorem really quick. So Rawls says that if you have these following three conditions, then something uh, amazing happens. So one, if f is continuous on the closed interval. So in this case, the closed interval will be negative 5, 5. Two, f is differentiable. This is what Rawls says. If this is true, then something's going to happen. Now, differentiability needs to occur on the open interval, so it's a parenthesis there. And three, if the values at the endpoints are the same. So in this case, f of 5 should be equal to f of negative 5. So if all of these three things happen, then Rawls says that there exists a number c in our open interval such that the derivative of f at c is equal to 0. So now we need to check. And th the theorem usually has like an a here and a b here. But for some reason, I put the numbers in our problem here just to, I don't know, maybe it helps. OK, so do, do these conditions work? Well, the first condition checks. This is a continuous function. There's no funny division by 0 or anything. Everything is nice and pretty. Uh, the second condition, though, that's one you should think about because we do have an absolute value function. So let's look at the absolute value of x. The absolute value of x is not differentiable at 0. So not diff at 0. So what about our function? Well, our function is the absolute value of x shifted down by 9, right? So we're down over here. There's negative 9. And so it's still not differentiable at 0. So not diff differentiable at 0. So the answer in this case is no, right? No. Uh, why? Uh, it's because uh, our function, f, is not differentiable on negative 5 comma 5, right? Um, it's not differentiable at 0, so therefore it's not differentiable on the interval. So it violates uh, one of the hypotheses of Rawls theorem. So we can't use Rawls theorem for this problem. So whenever you're doing these types of questions, you really have to know Rawls theorem. I'll try to make a few more vid videos, and if you watch those, you'll see that uh, the answers are different in every case. And if they're the same answer, if it's no, it'll be no for a different reason. I hope this helps.